What's going on, YouTube? Back with another episode of Snipe Dog RC, where we drive the hottest rides and build the hottest build. Today on the channel, we're going to be doing the breakdown on the Monster Ripper. This is going to be my birthday breakdown because my birthday is this weekend. So we're going to go ahead and powder coat this royal blue with the gold flakes. We're gonna put the black V speed tires on there and get these mayonnaise and mustards off of here. We're gonna be doing an all new sticker kit, drop them down low. It's gonna be hot. Might even change the pads out, but I'm still feeling the pads. We're gonna be changing this seat out. It's probably a ride out supply seat. Also, we'll probably get, if we don't do that, we'll probably get a flyer seat and we'll remove the blue off the flyer seat and put the blue on here. So it matches the whole bike with the gold plates. We got the gold SC pedals, bear claws on there. We got the gold willy pegs. We got the eight balls on the on the tires right there. It's all the way but You feel me? Let me stick that right up here. All right. Seems like we're good to go right there. Over here, we got my tools that I've got over the holidays and for birthdays from my family. So that's all good. So we're ready to go there. Over here, I've got the box. I'm gonna be putting everything from off that bike into this box. I'm gonna be breaking all this down, taking all the stickers off, and we're gonna take it up to the power cool shop, and I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. So stay tuned for more at Snipe Dog RC, where we drive the hottest rides, and we gonna build one of the hottest builds. Stay tuned, YouTube. All right, y'all, we're back. The breakdown of the build begins. I'm gonna start off by taking off all these pads and accessories, throwing everything in this box right here, putting everything off to the side, making sure I know where everything's at, because when I put this back together, I don't want to have no problems when I put it back together. So let's start it off. Right here, I got my anodized custom flight pads for my Monster Ripper, gold and black, very nice. Everything up really nice and precise. I really love this bike, so I gotta treat it well. Let's go ahead and take that neck pad off. Ooh, look at that SC neck, y'all. Old school. Let's get rid of this top pad. Okay. And those are flight pads made in the USA. You want to get some good pads, go over to flightpads.com. They'll tighten you up. Anodized. He's looking really good already, just like this. I love it. Let's go ahead and take off the saddle bag. Stripping it down to the bare bones, y'all. This is really about to happen. Can't wait to see the blue color on here. Don't get me wrong, I like the way it looks, but uh, I prefer my bike to be blue. And that's what I wanted this Monster Ripper to be, is a blue Monster Ripper. But that's All right, y'all, I'm just completing and trying to take off the water bottle holder that I use for my Bluetooth holder. I'm gonna get a fresh new sticker kit on there, so that's gonna be really hot. Let's put all this in the box. Any other accessories? Let's go ahead and take off our headlight. We'll charge that while it's getting painted. This is a really nice one. 600 loom on there. Not too much. Could have been a thousand loom, but this does the job. All of our parts and pieces in here. Let's take that backlight off. Twist that right off. That's that backlight right there too. Rock Bros, gotta love them, very sleek and innovative. Look at that backlight, y'all. Very nice. Just hold in the middle. There you go. Different colors. Very nice. And just hold them and turn them off. There it is, Rock Bros. You gotta get you one of them, y'all. Let's continue the breakdown. All right. As you see, we got all the pads off of it. And it's looking like 
It's time for them to get the bike flipped over. So when we come back, I'm gonna get the tools together. We're gonna go ahead and flip them over and get them going. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back with our five eights. Got a standard, nice little five eights, Craftsman, gun smoke, gray metal. Really nice tool, really, really nice tool. We're gonna go ahead and get both of these tires off and keep them unbuilt going. Strip nothing. I'm not trying to mess up my new tools. I probably didn't have to use the extension on that, but I'm gonna have to use the extension on the back. So I just kept it on there for now. Get these rolled all the way out. Spacers pulled up. I can't believe this is happening, y'all. Gonna paint up the Monster Ripper. Custom. Taking y'all along with me. All right. We're gonna get that back rim off and we'll be right back with the rest. All right, we're back, y'all. We got both of the tires off of here now. We're gonna send them off to the side. Got the chain tensioners. We got the wheelie pegs all set up. We're gonna set that down. Get ready to take these pedals off. Let's go ahead and put this stuff over to the side. It's gonna be a really, really nice build when I get done. And you're all here to go along with the ride. So this one must go down. So let's try that. All right. Get that one out. All right, put that with the rest of the stuff over here. I'll go ahead and get this other pedal off and we'll be back and we'll start working on the cranks next. All right, y'all, we got that other pedal off. As you can see, I threw a little tape right here to keep them washers in there for our pedals. Did them on both sides. This is the first time I broke down a Monster Ripper, so I'm learning as I go. Let's go ahead and take these cranks off of here now. What do we need for those? Okay, so let's go ahead and loosen that. I thought I could do it like that. Loosen them all the way. Contacted. There we are. Get that one off. Washer on there or anything, paying close attention. All right, y'all. Just working it in there. 
go ahead and get this one off. I'm gonna get the cranks off and we'll be right back. All right, we're back y'all. As y'all see, I got the cranks off. I got everything in here, all my bolts for my crank in here so I can all close them up, keep everything safe and sound. With my cranks right here. All ready to go. I know where all the washers go. I know where everything goes. So let's, from here, let's go ahead and flip it over and start working on getting the brakes off. And I got this towel right here for the forks. Put that down there. Okay. All right. So let's start by trying to get these grips off. I don't have an air tool to get the grips off, so my solution was to come up with a little soapy, soapy water, put them in there and twist them off. So let's go from there. I'm gonna get one grip off and then I'll get the second one off and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is just, I didn't, I, I just, Figure that this little dab tool will work pretty good. Open them up a little bit. Use some ODIs. Squeeze a little in there. Work it around, work it around. Work it around in there. Seem like it's working. Just work it around. Okay, it's working. Let's get the end cap off first. That end cap is going to be a, let's get that end cap off of there. Pry that off of there. It's almost off. All right, we got that end cap out. Just like that, grab the bike, put this with the rest of the features, okay, and let's work on uh, getting this other one off and I'll be right back. All right, we're back, I got the grips off, it's a slow process but we got to move it along. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get the front brake off, so let's go ahead and We need both brakes off because we're getting these bars powder coated as well. Let me see what we got going on here down here. I'm seeing some zip ties and I'm seeing a wire clip. So that clip pops out. Let's keep that clip. Go ahead and snip this one mini snips okay put all the ties there got these new cobalts I'm working out of very nice okay run that down See what we got going on here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off this front one. So this one must go down. Don't have a bike stand right now, but I'm making do with what I got. If any of the viewers would like to give me a bike stand, feel free to let me know. I'd love that. Alright, we're just still working getting these brakes off. Front brakes, making sure I keep everything together. 
try to get this one off. Yeah, but like I'm saying, I really need a bike stand. I gotta invest in one. But I didn't know I was gonna be doing a full breakdown and rebuild on this Monster Ripper, but uh, I figured it's my birthday weekend and I figured why not. So this goes here back in that slot, keeping everything together. Take these out. All those going here. Got to get down and dirty to get the job done. Oop, don't want to cross thread that. I don't like the way that's acting. I'm just going to put it like that for now. Okay. So we got the front off. I'm going to work on getting the back part off and we'll go from there. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. I got the brakes off. Had to cut the beaker off of that right there so I can get that lever off and ran through the, uh, the brake cable ran through the frame. Let's go ahead and get these. these off so we can get these bars off I think I can flip them down yet all right right here we're taking those to powder coat put these off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and slap that back in there all right we're getting close y'all we got to get that headset off and seat chain and that bottom bracket and we're ready to go I'm gonna finish taking off the rest of this and we'll be right back all right y'all we got the forks off we got my landing gear forks everything looking good with them all right nice and thick on there we almost done with the breakdown put these off to the side those are going to the powder coat. What we got left? Got a towel here. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's get the seat off. Hold that frame down. Oh, 
got it out. That's why I need a bike stand, y'all. I'm gonna have to get one next time. We got the seat out. Let's put the seat over here with the other stuff that we're putting in the box. Put it back here with the brakes. We've got the foil so we keep everything separated and wrapped up nice and good. Headset, everything right there. Toss that out to the side. All right, Let's pull that seat clamp off. Okay. Take a look. All right, y'all, we got everything broke down. You yeah, see, I put everything in foil so I can just wrap everything up and everything solid tight so I know where everything is at. These are the, uh, the beaker covers for the brakes. This is all my stuff for my crank. We're all ready together. Come over here. We got the frame. Very, very light for a 29 inch frame. That's that Monster Ripper, AKA PK Ripper. If you know, you know. Really light. We're gonna go down to my homeboy's house. I'm gonna have him use the chain breaker and break this chain. And then when we get done, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna bag up all the stuff right here, box everything up. Put everything in here and get ready to take it down to the powder coat. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. We got the homeboy over here. He's breaking the chain. After we break that chain, that's gonna be the end. I'm gonna put everything over there in that box and then we're gonna be Gucci in the game. Got it together. Not all the way through, just enough. I couldn't do it, y'all. I had to call in some reinforcements. But he got the game together. Hopefully. Hopefully, he said. I don't know, Mom. Good, Mama. And I got the foil right here to wrap up that chain in. Keeping all the grease content down to a minimum. All right, we got that chain broken. All right, y'all, we got it all together. The chain's been broken with the chain breaker. I got the frame right here. I'm gonna take off the sticky kit. Get ready for that new one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bottom bracket off. And then it's uh, all the way to the powder coat shop, y'all. So get ready for the new hot build on the Monster Ripper. Thanks for riding this ride with me today. Down here at Snipe Dog RC, where we drive the hottest rides and build the hottest builds. And this is definitely going to be a hot build. We'll be back at you. So stay tuned for more. Thanks, YouTube.